chicos, soy yo, Prince Gun. No sé si me habréis oído si hola a todos, pero no importa. Estamos aquí en The Walking Dead, en este especial terror. Vamos a empezar el segundo episodio de The Walking Dead. Tengo muchas ganas. Uf, estoy nervioso. Acabo de jugar la primera noche de Five Nights at Freddy's. Y todavía tengo el miedo en el cuerpo. Tengo los pelos de punta. En fin, vamos a empezar a jugar una parte. Vamos a ver si podemos hacer los cinco capítulos que faltan de la temporada 1. Y si no, bueno, los que nos estén. Ya sabéis que son larguillos, en realidad. Y, en fin, eh, con esto ya tendré... Realmente en The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, no. ¿Sabes, ¿Sabes quién soy? No puedo ser. No, no, no. ¡Cuidado! ¡Zombie! Salveme. All by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Ooh, cuidado. Bitch. One of them is bitten. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Tendré yo soy buena persona. Bueno, ya vamos a empezar por fin. Pues hasta las decisiones que tomes la historia se personalizado en tu modo de juego. Muchas ganas de empezar. Estoy nerviosa, estoy nerviosa, estoy nerviosa. Tengo ganas de empezar. Telltale Games presenta. sesión con Skybound Entertainment. Entertainment. Zombie. Tres meses después. Uy, puto. ¿Qué hacen ahí? ¿Qué cojones pasa aquí? ¡Ey! ¿Tú quién eres? ¡Hola! ¿Qué they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Oh, puto zombie. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. What the fuck? Well, it's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. No me estoy enterando de absolutamente yeah, nada, eh? You're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. Oh, mierda, mierda, you know, mierda. Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. No me estoy entrando nada. Got a wife and son to look out for, and they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Esto se mentía aquí con nosotros. No tengo ni idea de quién es. He thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. En fin, no me cae bien. No voy a decir cosas buenas de él. Vamos a comer cuervo, ¿en serio? 
Pobre pajarito. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Yeah. Oh, mierda. Shit. Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Mierda, mierda, mierda. Kenny, no, tú no. A ti te necesitamos. Oh Dios. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee. You guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, mierda, zombies. Dios, esto es que está intenso. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Oh, mierda, mierda, mierda. Walkers. Now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Mierda, mierda, mierda. Keep those walkers off of me. There has to be a way out of this. How the fuck do you get these things open? We don't know. Mama, do something. It's impossible. It locks or something. Hurry, please. Get me out of this. Try to get the you chain. You have to get him out. You have to. No, no, no. Stop. Fuck. Uf, lo siento. No quería hacerlo, pero. Oh mierda. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Lo siento. Lo siento. Lo siento, pero ahora sí que no hay tiempo. Que no iba a ser tan fuerte. Hambrientos de ayuda. Uf, ahora sí que tengo escalofríos. Ah, oh, lo pasa fatal, lo pasa fatal. 
¡Por Dios! ¡Ah! Ah, mira, ahí está la otra chica, la china. La china del, de Thailand. Get the gates open. We've got wounded. Shit. What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on. My God. What happened? Oh, the hell are they? What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking minute? Hey, no, watch your No, I mouth. don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. Right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you are here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. <sighs> oh, come okay. on, I... you're being dramatic. Entiendo lo que dice ella. Yeah. Tiene no tiene comida, no puede permitirse traer más gente. Ya tienen poca comida para ellos, imaginad traer más gente. Más food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. Because we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Puto. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Oh, Dios, ¿cómo lo voy a hacer? Oh, Dios, 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 Dios. Cuatro pedazos de comida para diez personas. Mm. A ver. Dios, 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 Dios. ¿Cómo lo voy a hacer? Bueno, como todos yo y que les jodan. Uf, no sé. Dios, no sé, no sé, no sé, no sé. ¿Cómo lo voy a hacer? ¿Cómo lo voy a hacer? How you doing for the time? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Lala? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. 
Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. A ver. Necesitamos, por lo menos, a... Ay, Dios, no lo sé. A ver, él lo necesita. Él es que tiene que tener comida. Words getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. Coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Bueno, pues para este no. Porque al fin y al cabo, este se. se quiere ir. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. You know that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Back in a bit. Vale, a ver, tenemos a Kenny, a Carly, al tío este rarito. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know. But Kaja will do her best. I promise. <sighs> Can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. <laughs> so who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well... I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. Puede. Uh, I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Va a estar cojo para el resto de su vida. Va a ser un tullito, pero quiero estar ahí. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, <laughs> I just hope Kadja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? Estoy hablando con todos para para saber un poco, pero a este le voy a dar seguro. No way, I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, no está, eh? I know her intentions are good, but but nothing. She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Que te jodan, a ti no te voy a dar de comer. Here. Eat something. Mm, carne seca, necesita proteína. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Claro. Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. 
You didn't think to give me the axe? No. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? There, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Que se joda, no le voy a dar de comer, eh. Es un normal, Dios. A él se lo doy porque es majo. A ella se lo voy a dar porque es la médico. Necesita comidita. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Lo siento. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Tengo manzana, quesito. Te voy a dar a ella. Que haga lo que es a los cojones. Mm. I don't want anything from you. Get the hell. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? <laughs> yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! Oh, uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. <laughs> still, <laughs> I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? <laughs> There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Puto. Quiero de comer los niños, no un viejo asqueroso que solo se mete con todo el mundo. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Can come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. But he just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. <laughs> well, at least he's not our problem anymore. 
What about the other kid? What the fuck? No, venga ya. Pero qué ha pasado? Me ha pillado. Fuera, bicho de mierda. ¡Eh! Oh mierda. Oh, mierda, mierda, mierda Puto Fuera Fuera, quita, quita Rápido Oh, mierda, mierda Oh, mierda Corre Dios Por Dios You okay? Yeah. Oh, Dios. Thanks. Menos mal. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. You said he wasn't bitten. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. What? You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. <laughs> We're all infected? Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen... We were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. What the fuck? Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly... Are you armed? Yeah, F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. <sighs> Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Mierda, creo que lo elegí mal. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Just you. Well, I haven't told anyone. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Whatever they could get their hands on. Just how it was on the bus. Somehow, I ended up getting locked in. Well, I'm here whenever you want to talk. 
Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. I'm not sure everyone would see it that way. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor end. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. No, I I ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's so great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. What the fuck? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided Dad, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fuck you. Knew we were hungry. And you guys will keep oh, mierda, so no, there's yeah, a you know lot what? More we ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Hijo de puta! Fuck you! Jesus! Cabrón! She mata a estrella y todo. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. No me fío mucho de ellos, pero. Hmm. Deberían coger las balas ahí en plan de... <risa> esto, 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 esto. Y ahí marcharte. <risa> en fin, bueno chicos, lo vamos a dejar aquí. Nos vemos muy pronto jugando a The Walking Dead. Adiós.